This is going to be a small video about converting a Land Rover heater. This heater is off a right hand drive but it's going to go onto a left hand drive. But at the same time I'm going to show you how to take these old matrixes out of here and we're going to fit a Disco 2 one in. So you'll have to stick by it. And what we're going to do first of all is take it all apart. Take all the pop This is how a Land Rover out. heater works. The blower here blows air through here and this little diverter flap which is usually rusted up or tight diverts air this way round here through here and take this off and it bypasses the heater it comes through there that's the cold blower not that anybody ever uses it because it's so drafty anyway when it's put like this warm air comes uh, cold air comes through here through the heater matrix and through the blower. This bit, that's, this bit sits on the top. This is the bit that goes on your bulkhead. This, this piece here, this goes on your bulkhead. And this flap here is your amount of air that goes through. All right, so, so you can see it's a great big opening, but the hole's actually quite small. So fortunately on a left-hand drive, we can open this way up on the bulkhead to match the hole. See, this bit goes on top of there. So we can, we can match the hole to get the maximum amount of air through. So what we're going to do, this is the old matrix. It's worse than useless. That's, that's the old one, they're not very good. We're going to take all the insides out of this and we're going to put a matrix going all the way across. Let me come back a bit. So we're going to put a matrix that goes all the way across and we're not going to put a diverter valve in. No need for that because the way we're going to do it, we're going to suck air in from the footwell. So the air is going to come in from the footwell and it's just going to recycle round and round and round. Now it doesn't get too hot in the car even in summer because there's no airflow because we're not using ambient air, we're not forcing air through. So it will become clear as I'm going along but this has got to be now stripped down completely and because it's a right hand drive we're going to make it into a left hand drive. We're going to invert all the panels. So bear with me. I've taken the uh, heater box apart and there were several spot welds all over the place. I use this little tool to break spot welds. I drill them first and then I use this very thin chisel. It's actually a furniture maker's uh, tool. It works very well. It's nice and hard steel. I've had that for years. Now, heater matrix. This is a Disco 2 one which I wanted to use. It won't fit. Surprise, surprise. This is the Defender one, which is so-so. But it's I'd like as much heater in there as I can. The difference in the heater matrix is why the heat better is the placement of the fins. If you see there, look. See how tight these are. There's more tubes, there's more contact area than this one. We did an experiment a few years ago by hooking these up to the hot tap and using a thermal imaging camera to see how much heat was coming out. And uh, this go to was far superior, this, this heater matrix. Um, I could actually, if I wanted to, make a, a box out of the end and stick it through, but that would be sort of a waste of time. So I'm going to go to my local parts supplier and see what they've got, because I know they've got a catalogue. So I can measure this and it'll fit in. So what have we got up to now? Well. This is the heater box, what's left of it, look, see? So what it was before was this, see? That was the, the box before. All we're going to do is flip it upside down. And there we go. We're going to obviously put the bottom piece on. Flip it upside down. We know that seam there fits into that seam because you can see where it's rusty. So we'll. I'm going to. I'm not going to bother with little pop rivets. I'm just going to spot weld it all together, and then cut this end plate off and make a new one to go here. This is really a bit of simple sheet metal work. It's not too difficult. And then, using the right hand drive heater blower. We're going to put this on backwards, if you see what I mean. So instead of pulling through the um, 
So this is actually what it's going to look like. Instead of pulling air through the wing vent, it's going to actually pull air through the floor, through the through the footwell, which is why the fo the bulkheads down there are ready to go. So then it's just a matter of boxing it all back up. It's quite easy. Uh, I'll give this a sandblast and paint before I put it together. But apart from that, that's what we're going to get up to next. So the bulkhead's now all primed up, patched up, and reprimed. And it's time now to work out where the heater box is going to go. So I have converted this from a right-hand drive to a left-hand drive. But just a few notes to say where this box goes. And this stud here should be around about six and a half centimeters from the edge of the box to this stud then you know it's going to fit you see I've got a little mark on there on the right hand drive these studs don't line up this is where the the bracket goes what I've done is just put a couple of tech screws in there just for now but I'm going to make a better bracket to support it onto there so it comes off easier so that's in a nutshell where the heater goes and it looks pretty good it's in a good place the angle of the heaters right now if you've noticed this is one of the tricks I've put a right hand drive heater on this heater box I haven't sandblasted it yet so don't worry I've, I've just tried it out to see how it's going to go so this is a right hand drive heater so normally the, the air intakes on this side coming from the wing you know, the, the, the air intake on the wing but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole here to make a tube to go at an angle down here and I do that just simply out of form I just make a form uh, piece to fit in there because it's quite tight here and then a ring and on the other side I'm going to put a grill so the air is pulled in from that side in the footwell through the heater through the heater matrix and out through this side now you see I've got this marked out but I've got it marked out wrong I've just got to put um, mark these holes this way then I'm going to cut this heater box right out so I'm going to that's what I'm going to do but this works out quite nice so now I'm going to sandblast it and like I say what I did was there. I haven't got a heater matrix because so what I'm going to do is just just for trial and error I'm going to put the old heater box in and see the old heater matrix in and see how it fits so the heater matrix is going to fit in here I haven't fitted it in yet because I've only put a couple of pop rivets back in here just to hold it together but basically what I did was as you can see this is upside down I turned this this way cut it here and welded this end piece that was on that on this side on this side pop riveted it all back in all the holes line up all you have to do here is just a few simple little spot welds there's not enough material on here to uh, spot weld it back together but if you tack weld it it's there's just enough material to do it and that will work out fine so we don't have to worry about heater controls and things like this because all I want is either hot or off. So, and I use a two-speed fan. This fan wasn't working. This was all seized up. Now it goes really good. I drilled a little hole in the end here, just a tiny little hole, and then because there's a bushing in here and it seizes up, it's they're always seizing up. Look. They're always seizing up. So, a little bit of penetrating oil in. Clip it up to a battery with some jumper leads. I make a, a lead out of an old lead. And then uh, it works well. And then if you want, underneath, there's a little hole under here. If you turn it upside down, you can feed some oil into there. And that'll feed the bearing as well. You don't have to worry too much about the uh, the, the, the brushes and things like that. Because once it's round the other way, it'll 
all drain out again. 